Okay, so uh, Vishnu has landed there and he was going through his regular uh, lifestyle. He started his work. And uh, so, Vishnu, I want to ask, why, what triggered for this transfer of H1B? Actually, what is transfer of H1B? So, H1B is not, transfer is nothing but a change of employer. Okay. So, you are switching from one company to the next So, company. with H1B, you are tied with the employer? Yes. That H1B is valid un, un, until you are with the employer? No, even uh, employer will submit for your client, right? Uh, the amendment will be changed if your project changes. Oh, so that is tied with the client. Yes. So even if you change your client, you have to apply for an... Uh, no, company will take care of company given you an amendment. Okay. So those things will be taken care of by them. Okay. So who needs to apply for a transfer and why did you start your transfer process? No, actually the, the situation in the US, the market is not so good. There. Okay. So my project got finished mm -hmm. and uh, and uh, they, they just... Uh, uh, then uh, I mean, there was a lot of layoff there. Okay. So whatever project got finished, and they are not allocating any new budgets to the projects. Okay, okay. okay. So I was released. Maybe I could have chosen for another project, but I thought of uh, changing the employer, so I switched okay. over to the next employer. Okay. So if if at all someone wants to switch employer, they need to initiate the transfer. No, it that will be transfer. That will be taken care of by the contractor or uh, oh, okay. employee. So it's again, employer will take yes, care. Yes, From our employee side, not, we need not worry anything. about anything. Okay, okay, okay. It's all about employer who wants to change okay. it. But yes, uh, you want to search for a job. Uh, I search via LinkedIn. I just post like uh, I'm available in market. Okay. You'll be getting lot of calls from lot of vendors. Correct? So as long as you have an H1B, uh, employees will be ready yes, to pick you yes. up, right? Okay. Only okay. thing is, direct uh, company will not come at you. Most of the vendors will. Okay, okay. Come. So the, like consultants, consulting right. company. Is will there come. any reason why companies no, will not? No, I'm come. not sure what. What is the maybe reason behind that? Maybe sponsorship cost. Yes, sponsorship cost, right. and maybe I'm not sure what, what okay. policy they have. But mostly it will be contractors Contact. will be reaching you. Okay, okay. So can you tell us the process? You decided to switch employer. So what did you do? So first, you, when you clear the interview, your, uh, well, the new employer will reach you for the documents. Like your uh, current I-797, they'll get it. That's mandatory. Like they'll get the soft copy from you. Okay. Because with that only they'll be applying for the transfer. Okay. And uh, they'll get all the your uh, educational documents. Mm -hmm. Mostly, the, yeah, only those things. They'll apply for the I-129 and uh, everything. Only thing is, uh, they'll get the soft copy of passport that work authorization I-797, and uh, your uh, degree certificate should be fine. Okay. And when do you inform your current employer? Uh, once. Uh, you, your new employer share will share, I mean, once they apply for a transfer, they'll get the receipt number. Okay. Once you got the receipt number, you can let you so know. So you can your tell your employer. current employer yes. that uh, you want to switch. Yes. And depending on the, no, do you have notice period? There is no notice period, but in general, there is like, a, I mean, depends on the project or manager, how many days there. Okay. It's a mutual Just out of, uh, yes. okay, mutual uh, when relationship. When we are living anywhere, we want to maintain that relationship. Yeah, yeah, relationship. yeah. Otherwise, there's so, no... Uh, yeah. Basically, it's it's like two weeks, but if you are, uh, I mean, I stayed like uh, uh, three weeks. I did for notice period, and my new employer also accepted, accepted. the three weeks. Okay. So I did not add any issues. So it's like there is nothing. Like if you want to leave okay. day one, you can leave. That okay. Is. And what is the wait time? Uh, I know that time we used to speak, and uh, you had a long. Uh, yeah, you my wait uh, transfer, time, right? I mean, if they're doing the premium, it will be 15 days for the transfer. That but extra cost, right? Yes, that's extra cost. They need to pay for premium. But the problem what with the premium is like if any of the documents cannot be, if uh, the embassy is asking for any of the documents and the employer could not submit it, your current visa will be revoked. Oh, is it? Yes, yes. Okay. Your current visa also will be revoked, uh, revoked and you need to travel back to India and, uh, and you want to... Uh, I mean, after traveling back to India, I think maybe employer again will apply for the okay. uh, your embassy, like whatever document they share. Okay. So they don't, uh, I mean, my employer told that they don't want to take any risk. So, okay. so they, without, without premium, how is it different? It's like uh, six months you need to wait. Okay. I mean, you can work uh -huh. Uh, okay. because you have the receipt number. Right, right. But, uh, but no, the same problem, right? You The document something is not right. Do, don't we have the same issue with the without premium? 
you said like with premium they will no, send uh, us back they have 6 month time so whatever oh, okay, okay, okay. Needed, they'll be sharing it and they, so they, they, they have they, they, yeah. uh, they will have but ample of time so that they can uh, uh, give back the document yes, whatever yes. oh understood, but understood premium is just 15 days 15 so days. they don't have if in case because mostly these uh, contractors will be working with the clients it's okay, quite okay, okay. difficult to get the documents from the clients on time so that's why and one thing i remember uh, during your transfer period that you were waiting for your transfer to complete you said you will be coming back to india only after transfer no that's is there an issue no no you can travel back any time but the problem is if when you are entering back there may be a question raised what why the reason for transfer so oh. you want to carry all your old documents as well as current employer documents okay okay everything okay. has to be carried so to avoid those it will it's advisable like Uh, don't travel i mean oh. that's that's like until yeah. until you get your uh, yeah. transfer completed uh, it's not mean that we do, we we never want to travel but we can travel but it's the case like they don't take that risk okay okay do you have an interview with the embassy during the transfer or no there will not be there will not be any interview so it's just employer doing the work yeah employer will get the, the work done. copies done okay, and okay, they will okay. ship it to the all the documents okay, okay. all the originals will be shipped shipped to you okay, okay. So what does that uh, has to be done after you receive the what, what is the document you receive after the transfer is complete? You will be receiving the I-797. Seven nine seven with the new employer. Getting and all supporting documents like I-129 you will be getting it. Okay. And uh, the the uh, the contract with the client all those supporting documents that's not needed but always they will be giving you a bundle like okay, all okay, the supporting okay. documents will be there. Understood. Understood. Okay. Nice. So anything else? Uh, to be noted who are uh, going to do transfer anything do's and don'ts no nothing like that all your employer will take care just make sure that when you are uh, i mean you have uh, your employees uh, will established and you know it and you are not getting seated for it ah right that is uh, one thing right so the new employer with whom you are going to be associated you have to just aim to ensure the genuinity of the yes. person before you start Okay nice so that brings us to the end of the second video so uh, how to initiate the transfer and what to do now the last part of the video is uh, you have got your transfer now you want to renew it let's say your uh, visa will expire at least sometime within the 3 th- three year period so now what has to be done and uh, what uh, issues he went through that would be in the next video